Okay, so now that we've got the neutral safety switch properly installed on the control, the next step is to determine whether or not the boat is push for throttle or pull for throttle. And these two cables right here kind of give you some indication if they are installed on the engine and when, a, when the engine is at the idle position and the cable is all the way out like this up here at the control end, then I know that it's going to be push for throttle. So the, as I push, it's going to go from zero to wide open throttle. Instead, if I've got my cable installed on my boat and the cable is fully retracted like that, I know it's going to be pull for throttle. And that's going to require a different orientation of the throttle cam depending on whether it's push for throttle or pull for throttle. Now that I've determined whether my boat is either push for throttle or pull for throttle, I've got to make sure that my control is set up to accommodate that. And if my throttle happens to be push for throttle, I'm lucky because my throttle cam is properly aligned with my shift cam and I'm ready to go, I can proceed to the next step. However, if it happens to be pull for throttle, I've got to take an extra step here and I've got to reorientate the throttle cam to a pull for throttle condition. To do that, I'm going to simply unscrew this retaining screw and the appropriate spring, making sure to maintain the spring and the screw all as one assembly. I'm going to take the shift cam, or excuse me, the throttle cam, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees to a condition like that and now it's set up for pull for throttle and I'm going to reinstall the spring-loaded screw Now that I have the proper orientation of my throttle cam, I have to make sure that I've got the right cables for my particular boat. And this cable is the 33C style cable. It's one of the more popular styles of cables. It's appropriate for installation on Yamaha, Suzuki, Honda, and many other engine brands. We also have the Mercury style cable, which has a fixed output end on both sides, so it requires very minimal adjustment. And then the third cable we have is one for a OMC BRP style uh, engine and it also has a fixed style where it mounts directly to the control and directly to the engine with no adjustment. Alright, now that I've determined the proper cables for my boat, I've got to prepare the cable for installation and that's pretty simple. All I have to do is take the jam nut off the end of the cable, like so, pull the grommets off, and then slide this part here for throttle. If it was the throttle cable, I slide that part on. If it's shift, I slide that part on. In this, for this particular cable, I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the throttle first. And I've got my control set up for pull for throttle. So I've got two options here to put this brass pin through. I've got a hole here in the back or one here in the front. Because my control is set up for pull, I'm gonna go ahead and slide the pin through the back part right there, making sure that I've got a good firm connection there where that, that brass pin is actually going through the intended groove on the cable. Again, if it was going to be push for throttle, I'd wind up instead putting this brass pin in this forward position here. Now that I've got this brass pin in the proper location, I've got to make sure that I get that pin bent over in a really good way to make sure I've got a good connection there. Nice and secure. Next step for me is to go ahead and put one of the two grommets back on, like so. Put the jam nut back on. And the last step for this cable is to put the eyelet on. And these are probably going to require some adjustment a little, little deeper into the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those loose for now, knowing that I've got to come back and then tighten those up later. All right, I followed the same process for the shift cable. Fortunately, on this one, I can't make a mistake. There's only one particular hole to put that in, so it's in a good shape there. And remember, 
to make sure to secure that in a really good way. And these cables are now ready to be installed on the control. We are now installing the cables on the control. So the first thing we have to define is on the shift side, which kind of stroke we have. So uh, this, in this position, we have 3.07 inches of stroke. And if we move the connector to the inner position here, we're going to have 2.64 inches of stroke. So we have these two options. A sec another thing we need to define is whether my shift is pushing to go forward or pulling to go forward. In that case, I will have to install the cable one way or the other way, depending on how my, um, my uh, shift is set up on the engine. So, um, let's suppose in this orientation, which will... So, if the control will be installed this way on the boat, this situation will be pulling shift to go forward, okay? So, we'll take that as our option at this point, with a 2.64 stroke. I'm going to place the shift cable in its groove. Make sure that it goes all the way in. And then I'll have to place the throttle cable on top. In this particular application, the, sh the throttle cable is in pulling configuration and it goes in the bottom seat on the control body. I can lock the cable up this way once they are in place with the hardware supplied. Now, um, the eyelets have a little uh, possibility of being adjusted. Of course, I can undo the eyelets and, and adjust them or adjust them before putting them on the pin. I, I, I can unscrew and screw it and adjust a little variation of length because my cable in this phase will be on the other side will be connected to the to the shift and to the throttle. So I will have a very uh, a very specific position of the cable compared to the conduit at this point. If everything looks okay, I can proceed by locking the cables in. with the hardware supplied. One. And two. For information on this product or any of the other fine products from Uflex, feel free to reach out to us at www.uflexusa.com or to our technical service team at 941-351-2628. Thanks and have a great day.